Good afternoon, church family, and Happy New Year. Today is the 3rd of January, Tuesday, and uh, this is different than our normal uh, rhythm for putting out our update, but thank you for sticking with us. It's good to be able to have this time to share with you the things that are exciting and the things that are going on, things you need to uh, make note of so that you'll, uh, you'll read them into your schedules and that you'll align yourself accordingly. Uh, it is so good. It is so good to be in 2023. The Lord has blessed us and, uh, and our lives and the way that we worship and the way that we interact with one another ought to reflect the goodness of God in our lives. And so uh, that's really my desire this year in 2023 is to allow the joy of the Lord to just uh, permeate my life. And so that others who come in contact with me would know that I've been in the presence of the King and that I acknowledge with gratitude, all the goodness and blessing that he has given to us. And so I hope you'll catch the vision with me and that you'll be a part of things in uh, allowing the Lord's goodness just to flow through your life so that others will know. Uh, I I guess the best thing that anybody could ever say uh, about First Baptist Church uh, is for somebody to say, man, God's at that church. And so uh, with that in mind, let's just look to the Lord and look for ways that he can work through us as we get together. Uh, There are a few things coming up that I'd just like to make you aware of, some things that uh, I want you to write down in your daily planner or your your calendar or whatever it is that you use to, to drive your life with. But uh, put these down and, and, and be there. Tomorrow evening is really an important evening. It's Wednesday night. Uh, it's the 4th of January. And uh, it really kicks off our year in lots of ways. It kicks off our Wednesday nights in 2023. So be there for that. Uh, we'll serve uh, supper at 530. So join us for that. Uh, if you're not a normal, uh, regular attender of our of our meal, but you'd like to start, please call our church office just so we can have enough for everybody. So let them let our church office know if you're planning on being here for supper tomorrow night. Second, um, at six thirty after our church supper uh, tomorrow night, we're not going to have choir, which usually happens at seven thirty. Uh, tomorrow night, we're going to all be in the fellowship hall together. And we're going to go a little bit beyond just the typical hour uh, Bible study prayer time. Tomorrow night, I'm going to use it as a night for vision. Uh, Now, I've done this every year since I've been here. I've given a a vision night. Usually it's on Sunday nights where I talk about what's coming up in the next year. Now, obviously, I'm not God, so I don't know all the things that are going to happen this year. But I do believe that God leads me, especially through uh, thoughts of the future. He does it through his word. Um, he does it through my time in prayer. I believe that the Holy Spirit uses um, training and urgings and other people and all kinds of things to, to give us direction. And I believe the Lord does that to me. And so I'm going to share with you what I think the, the future looks like, especially this year, especially uh, in the area of worship. And so I'll talk about what I believe God wants from our church when it comes to corporate worship, when it comes to our song service, when it comes to our choir, when it comes to all of the different um, uh, special things that we do in worship. And so uh, it'll actually, you have to have a vision before you go out looking for whoever is going to uh, take the place as our new worship leader. And so we have to have these things in line before we go out looking for someone. So I'm going to share all that tomorrow night. uh, And uh, there won't be anything earth shattering, but I do believe that it's an opportunity for me to shape the conversation for the future. Because what we most of all, more than anything else, we must be shaped by God's word when it comes for worship. And so that's a reason why I've started this this sermon series on worship. Uh, This last Sunday was What is Worship? This, this coming Sunday will be the right way to worship. And so I, I trust that you'll join me in that. Uh, but this is a big deal. This really does set the course for the future of our church. And so you need to be here tomorrow evening. It'll run a little bit more than an hour. We'll talk t- uh, together about things. Mostly it'll be me talking to you. Uh, but there may be opportunities for us to interact as well. And so we'll go forward with that tomorrow evening. And then next Wednesday evening, 
uh, on the 11th of January uh, during our normal 7.30 choir time. Uh, it'll be an hour and a half, 7.30 to 9. Uh, our, um, we've got uh, Gary Shive. Brother Gary's a member of our church, uh, but Brother Gary has led choirs both in the uh, the school age group, but also in churches in our area for a long, long time. And so I've asked Brother Gary how he could help us during this time. And he said, I would love to do a choir workshop. And so on the 11th and the 18th, the next two Wednesday nights, the 11th and 18th, uh, Brother Gary is going to work with our choir with the end result being an anthem that the choir is going to sing on a Sunday morning. Now, I want to extend this, this invitation to beyond our normal choir folks. There may be a lot of folks in our church that want to be in choir, but they just didn't know a good uh, uh, entrance point. Well, this is it. This would be a great place for you to join us. Uh, also, if you've been with us in the past and for whatever reason you've stopped singing with us, uh, but you know deep in your heart that that's something the Lord has, has gifted you with and given you a desire for, then I invite you to be a part of this. Uh, this will be a great time. I, I, I'd love for you to come out. I'd love to have 50 people in our choir for this choir workshop. I'll let Brother Gary exercise you and your voices, give you something to work for, and, uh, and to keep our choir in shape and uh, on the way as we await whoever God brings to us to lead our music. So that's the 11th and the 18th, both nights, 7.30 to 9 o'clock. And then uh, this coming Sunday... Sunday, the 8th of January, we have several things that are going on. First, uh, we're going to have our deacon election. Now, we were supposed to have this two days ago, and uh, I got so caught up in worship that uh, I, missed the, I missed the opportunity to, for us to have our special called church conference in order to do this. Now, I ask our deacon uh, officers to forgive me, and I extend that to the rest of the church family. Please forgive me. Uh, I, I did not mean to forget. It just happened. And so this Sunday, we are going to have a special called church conference to affirm or to elect our coming deacons. Now, I use that word affirm because we don't have, we need six deacons. We have six openings. We need six, and we're not going to have six that we offer you. And so really, it's going to be an affirmation and not an election. But with the verbiage of our bylaws, it is our deacon election for 2023. So that's this Sunday morning. Please be here and be a part of that. Also, that afternoon will be the first deacons meeting of the year, 3 o'clock. Deacons, please set your calendars for that. We'll see you there. And then we'll begin all our Sunday evening events this coming Sunday evening. And so children will meet, our students will meet, and then also uh, I am going to I'm going to lead out in an adult Bible study. Now this adult Bible study is specifically for how to teach. So that's what I'm going to be doing, but anybody can be a part. Uh, it, it'll help any Christian. It's part of discipleship in any way. So please, if you want to be a part of this, come out. I don't have a sign-up sheet that I'm going to make you teach after you do this, but I would like to give you some some pointers, some hints, some structure, so that you'll know how to to teach God's Word to others. And so this can be one-on-one, -on -one, or it can be one on a class, or it can even be preaching. All of this will be covered, so please come out and be a part of this this Sunday evening at 5 o'clock, all of those things. And then finally, the last thing I'd like you to know is on the 12th of January, that's a Thursday morning, we're going to begin New Testament survey. Now, for the last two years, we've called it Old Testament survey, and we've walked all the way through the Old Testament. I started in the book of Genesis and went all the way through the book of Malachi. Starting on the 12th of January, we're going to begin uh, discussing the intertestamental period, that is, what happened between Malachi and Ma Matthew, we're going to talk about those years. We're going to look at some of the major political things that happened. Uh, and, and this is important because it sets the stage for Jesus to arrive. In fact, in our Old Testament survey, we saw prophecies specifically about um, the, the empires, Babylonian Empire, uh, the Medo-Persian Empire, uh, the Greek Empire, and then the Roman Empire. And so we're going to look at some of these things to set the stage for Jesus' arrival and, uh, and then we're also going to look at some of the religious uh, transitions that took place between the temple and then the, uh, the coming about of the synagogues and uh, the Pharisees and Sadducees and 
zealots and uh, Essenes and all of those that came about to set the stage for Jesus. And so uh, we'll begin there and then we'll begin uh, looking at the Gospels and uh, we'll marry those up, show you how they work and uh, and move all the way through the New Testament. So that starts on the 12th. Come out and be a part. That's Thursday morning at 1030. I invite you to be there and be a part. The last thing that I'd like to talk to you about is our music minister, whoever is to come. Now, right now, what I'm doing is I'm, so I don't wear anybody out, I'm going to be asking lots of people to spend lots of time uh, rotating through, leading our worship. Uh, If the opportunity avails itself that we can have a permanent interim for some length of time, then that's what we'll do because it will lift the burden off of our people and others. So there is that opportunity or or potentiality as well. But ultimately, what we need is a music minister. And so begin praying for that. That's my goal is to bring someone in on staff who can lead out in our music ministries, but who's also has the heart of a pastor. We want whoever that is to be able to visit hospitals and to be able to walk alongside Pastor Aaron and myself, Corrigan, uh, and really uh, share in the ministry of, uh, of the Word of God and the ministry of prayer, the ministries of our church. And so pray along those lines for, with me for that. Uh, I don't know who God has for us. I can't wait to see who that is. Uh, I don't know when. Um, I don't know whether it'll be quickly or long. We don't know any of those things. We're early on in this in this uh, movement, but uh, we're trusting the Lord. And so part of that trusting the Lord is to ask you to pray along with us. Just lift up your requests to the Lord. Uh, it says, cast your cares on Him because He cares for you. And so this is one of our cares, and so let's do it. Let's call on the Lord and see what He does. Uh, I can't wait to see it. It's, it's exciting times. Uh, it's a blessing uh, to be able to move forward in this way. And so just continue to pray with me and let's trust the Lord as we go forward. Church family, I love you. Uh, I'm glad to be in 2023 with you. I can't wait to see what God's going to do. Uh, Let's ask him for big things. Let's work hard for his honor and let's see what he does. So church family, God bless you. I love you. I'll see you soon.